what it do, y'all, Pastor too. So um, we need to start practicing social and sexual starvation practices. Been there, done that, got the t-shirt. And who in the hell is this we? Now, what does that mean, Pastor Two? It means just what the fuck you're scared that it might mean. It means that you are going to have to start being voluntarily celibate. Going to have to be? Says who? For spiritual, okay, and esoteric reasons, so God can rebalance out this gender narrative, okay? This gender narrative? What this gender narrative, okay? Which is all of the hostility, the tension, and negativity we get from our women. I'm not a woman, you idiot. How the hell could you think I'm a woman? I mean, really, a woman, like, eh? We validate them too much through sex. See, a lot of men think that sex... Men are, are taught wrong. We taught that sex only benefits us. So we yeah. Um, I was not taught that. I don't know anybody who was taught that. Who's doing this teaching? Because I really want to discuss with this person. Um, you're doing it wrong. I'm sure it's a man that is doing the, tree, the teaching of this. Uh, it gets worse. You know, think about how our sexual tool is a gift to a woman. Good fucking gods. And how it validates her mere existence. A tool that validates a woman's existence. Hmm, let me see. Um, trying to think of one. Uh, nope. Tampons. Okay, why do you think women have so many partners? Why do you think their the female's body count is so high? Mister, how do you like it, Mister? Without conversation. By the time they're twenty-five, because they're women have this thing, this empty gaping hole. No pun intended. Have fun with that ism. That's shown sure enough a gorilla biscuit, but they have this gaping black hole. Another gorilla biscuit. Um, I'm sorry, um, Gorilla Biscuit. I'm going to have to look that up. What is a, quote, Gorilla Biscuit? Urban Dictionary. Slang term for quaaludes. In their, seriously, in their soul, they have this gaping, this, this, because women are really a series of, of holes. They really are. They're like an empty, they, I know, like, they're, uh, they are an empty vessel. No joke. Hey. <laughs> women are empty vessels. Um, okay. Like, like in space, they represent the black hole. You know, we are represent things on an astrological level, on a uh, cosmo. You might, you might say, oh, cosmetological level, that's more in sex, but on a cosmology level, okay, which is ethereal, okay, like stars, space, the universe, the galaxies, the multiverse, that type of thing. Very interesting. Please go on. We are replicate. We're variations of stardust, bro. That's how deep it goes. So, men, we are actually like the planets. That's right. Um, well, I know that my ego is the size of Jupiter, but um, how are we actually planets again? No bullshit. Men are like little universes walking around. Women are like the black hole. You like they sink, like a sinkhole. Everything. Hi, little girl. What do you want for Christmas? You want for Christmas? Well for Christmas! Well for Christmas! Ah! Huh, I feel better now. That's why I think about their manifestation. Everything is to go. Things go in them. Every energy goes into a woman. Things go into women. Ah, uh, fuck. 
right? That's why I want to with mirror your energy and shit like that. Your energetics. I need to fix these fucking dirty ass streets. Glass broken everywhere, dog. Potholes every fucking where, dog. That's what I hate about the inner city. I swear, bro. I hate that shit. It's annoying as fuck. You can't, they make it undrivable on purpose. Okay, so I had to delete some where the person is, like, his, his vehicle is just getting slammed around and it's, like, flinging himself up towards the ceiling and shit like that. Yeah, I kind of feel sorry for where this guy lives. Anyhow, to bypass that. But, uh, anyway, back to the baseline. We have to start doing social starvation practices with these women, okay? We have to start doing social pra starvation practices with them. Um, and sexual starvation. All right, I want to know, all the women out there, have I been sexually starving you people by denying you my tool? Practice. I already made videos for y'all in the past. Go to the catalog where I talked about what the social starvation practice is. That's just not falling for thirst traps, never complimenting any woman ever. Not to compliment a woman ever. Hmm. I bet this guy never has. I bet he never will, if you know what I mean. Ever, 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 unless she's giving you real great behavior. Like if a woman come up to me and say, you have impeccable swag or something like that to me, which I do. This dude has impeccable swag. I would ask him what he means, but I don't want to know. And she would be right to say that, and she should. She would be right to say that, and she should. 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 According to what possible... Yeah. Uh. Oh, and you and you smell amazing, which I do. Holy fuck, this is funny! Then I say to her, yeah, you got, you got a, a nice smile. Like, for instance, the Mexicano bitch. And Mexicans don't like us, right? They don't like blacks. And gen this is just a general statement from my experience, right? And I've heard Mexicans say this. Some might as outliers, whatever, but in general, they don't. But I just gave a compliment <clears throat> to the Dunkin' Donuts Mexican bitch. You ought to check your pocket. He complimented the Dunkin' Donuts Mexican bitch. What a compliment! What a great guy this is! Hey, ladies, this is a real catch here, but don't ask him for sex because. He's starving you. I said, y'all faster than McDonald's. I said, y'all real fast. She was looking at me suspiciously, thinking I'm going to be on some nigga shit. No, I, I said, no, y'all real fast. Y'all y'all chop chop, y'all quick. Y'all quick. What he really said was a question. Are you fast? McDonald's slow as hell, but y'all fast. So I gave her a compliment real fast just because of the strength. She, that she was doing a good job, you know what I'm saying? Point blank, period. And I didn't even like to give her that, but I just, I had to. A good job is a good job. Okay, I know the detriment of complimenting women. Women have this arrogance about them. Women have the arrogance, not this guy. Women, um, generic women, you know, more than half of the human population here on the planet. They have this arrogance. And this guy with his tool doesn't. If he has a tool, and I still know, I'm still fuzzy on that part. Oh, they say, oh, he hates women, no, I don't. Uh, yeah, he does. Uh, it would not surprise me in the least bit if this bitch, I mean, this wonderful man um, started shooting someday and go to a woman's college or whatever the fuck. Um... Yeah, it would not surprise me in, a, in the least. I actually love real women, okay? Real women. <coughs> he doesn't like the um, Mexican Dunkin' Donuts bitches, but real woman, women, he likes them. But 
He denies them his essence. When they're in their right role, when a woman's in her right role, she's an awesome character. Let me guess. When she's baking a pie and she's barefoot and she only exists in the kitchen and the bedroom. It's, but you always got to be careful with her. A woman is a real sensitive thing. And they don't like to think of themselves as sensitive. That's why they're so fucking sensitive. Even thinking like that, that makes that means motherfucker, you're very sensitive. To not, to, I don't want to be. That's how they think. I don't want to be thought of as sensitive. What the fuck do you mean? I'm just like a man. That's how they think. No, bitch, you're sensitive because a man won't even think about no shit like that. You're fucking sensitive, and they're so sensitive that they get censored and triggered real easily. Almost like a, almost like a defective sensor in your car, and you hear that pink of pink of going off. That. So women are like a defective sensor in a car. Okay, well, um, I don't like this person.